Hi friends, today I'm going to show you how to create this amazing slide transition in After Effects. I hope you guys like this. But before that, let's discuss my video's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Video Pro Converter AI. This has a bunch of AI features which is really amazing. You can try it from the game and link in the description. First, let's open the super resolution. Just drag and drop your clip. After that, you can adjust the AI model. I will recommend the Gen Detail V. Also, make sure to enable the high quality mode and also enable the de interlacing. You can try the enhanced version, but I will recommend the scale version. After that, let me show you the preview. As you can see, it, it's creating a bunch of details on it. You can also interpolate your video FPS. If you want a really smooth preview of your video, just like this, it's really easy. So make sure to try the video for AI Converter. Okay, back to the video. I have this uh, sample project just to show you how to create this transition. I uh, have this short intro and three transitions. Make sure you enable the frame landing of these three, three transitions. And after that, you can track the scenes if you like. I make sure to track my scenes to make it look good. After that, you have to add the twisted. You guys can copy my settings here. I think it's the best setting for edits. Make sure to copy it all. Just like this. And this is a secret setting, the main BG layer setting. Make sure to it, it's 100. Okay. After that, you, had, uh, you have to add the keyframes of the twister also. Make sure you add 250, 200. This is the best, I think. After that, select the keyframe and easy is by pressing F9 and copy my graph here. Just like this. And after that, we get something like this. And after that, add the blur mode curve effect. Enable the Z this keyframe and add a 0.6 of distance. You can add 0.7 if you want, but I think 0.6 is fine. Okay, after that open the keyframes by pressing U and copy my graph here, just like this. Or you can use your own graph if you want. This is, after that we have to copy these effects and paste it to other scene. But before that, make sure to enable the X and Y reflect setting. I will tell you what this is about later. After that, do this step on other three scenes. Then make sure to enable the Shift X keyframe. At at the end, add a minus 100 key, a minus 500 keyframe. It will give this slide effect. Make sure to enable this reflect setting so we don't get black bars. And reveal the keyframe and press Easy F9 and copy my graph here it's pretty simple we want it to be the end of the clip just like this let me show you a preview as you see it's giving us, giving us that slight slight transition after that we're going to the next clip here i have to add the keyframe in the center this and uh, in the starting add the 500 add the ending also add the 500 keyframe just like this select keyframe and easy is them by pressing f9 okay open the graph and copy the graph like this then you can see it gives us something like this then we have to do the last clip here let me enable the keyframe and here we have to add the minus 500 at the ending it will be zero and we're going to adjust the graph of this also just like this really simple and almost done after this you get something like this as you can see pretty nice and pretty smooth after that you can add your shakes I will get this my fade black shake in my description. You guys can download it from there and use it on your videos. And I hope you guys like my video and make sure to subscribe my channel. Comment down your topic and I will make a video on it. Thank you.